Hey everyone, today we're going over how to draw amino acids and proteins. All right, so what's nice about amino acids is they all follow the same basic structure. So you have an amine group, NH2, bonded to a carbon, and we call this our alpha carbon, so I'll put a little alpha right there. It is also bonded to a hydrogen, a carboxylic acid group, and then the only thing that is different between different amino acids is this R group or this side chain. So this R can be many different things. So for example, if we start with an a easier amino acid to draw, let's draw glycine. What you do is you start with the NH2, that is the same. Go to your carbon. The hydrogen is the same as as that carboxylic acid. But this side chain for glycine is simply a hydrogen. So if we want to get a little more complicated, we could do alanine, which its side group or side chain is just a methyl group. So we start with the same thing, NH2, to our alpha carbon, which has a hydrogen, a carboxylic acid. And then its side chain, the side chain of alanine, is just CH3. So do you see the only thing differing between glycine and alanine is this R group, right? This side chain. Now, if you want to start combining amino acids together, they combine by something called a peptide or amide bond. And what happens here is we have this OH on one carboxylic acid combine with one of the hydrogens from the amine group. So when this happens, we actually lose a molecule of water, but we form a peptide bond between these two amino acids. So let's now draw the dipeptide of glycine and alanine. So we start with NH2 of glycine to the alpha carbon, and none of this has changed. So we go to this carbon, this carbon right here. It's double bonded to an oxygen, but here's where we attach it to the nitrogen of the second amino acid, right? So N, it has one hydrogen. It lost a hydrogen, but still has a, one other hydrogen. Keep going to your carbon, which has an H, a carboxylic acid group, in alanine, this is alanine right here, its R group is CH3. Now there's a couple um, terms you want to be familiar with. So this end where the NH2 is, we call this the N terminus. Whereas your C, where you have your COOH group, this is referred to as the C terminus end. So we have two alpha carbons, right? One two, one of glycine and one of alanine. And the peptide bond, let me sort of put that in a circle. So this is where the peptide bond is. It's where we used one of the carboxylic acid groups and connected it to the amine group. Okay, so this is the peptide bond. So now we have glycine attached to alanine, but what if we want to add another one? Let's say we want to add phenylalanine, which is a bit more complex. It has a more complex R group, but that's fine because still most of the structure is the same for all amino acids. So let's do NH2 to our alpha carbon, a hydrogen, a carboxylic acid. Now the side chain for phenylalanine, which is an aromatic amino acid, looks like this. So all that changes between each of these amino acids is that R group. Now remember to form a peptide bond, this OH will combine with one of these hydrogens, which means we lose a molecule of water, but now a peptide bond forms between these two amino acids. So let's draw all these three amino acids attached. So this is how we make a protein. We keep adding more and more amino acids. So we'll start again with NH2, all right? We'll start there, NH2, a carbon, and this is gonna be glycine, which forms a peptide bond to alanine. 
Here's the R group of alanine, right? Now we have to remember to do our peptide bond. So we take it to the nitrogen right here. These are the same, same nitrogen. This has one hydrogen now. Go to the alpha carbon of phenylalanine. And now we just need to add the side chain of phenylalanine. So this is perfect. So this is still the N terminus end because we have our NH2, our terminal NH2 here. Here's our terminal carboxylic acid. This is the C terminus end. And right here we have glycine, alanine, and our phenylalanine. So we have three amino acids forming this peptide. And if you want to continue on, you just have to keep adding amino acids through peptide bonds.